G'day and welcome to Jez Beer Reviews. Today it's going to be my hands to find a pills. Now, would you believe it? I thought I had reviewed this many years ago, but I went through my videos and I cannot find it. And now I've had this beer many times off camera, and uh, so I was thinking to have it off camera tonight until I searched and then thought, well, I'd better review it. Uh, yeah, so I can't believe I haven't. Uh, I haven't reviewed it. Okay, so it is a 500ml bottle. I believe it's a it's a 5.1% ABV. And uh, it's a Pilsner, German Pils. It's a cracker. Right, oh, it's poured into this Sanctus glass. Sanctus, this is like I say, a Sanctus glass. So a few people ask about it. Um, it is a craft brewery in the Northern Rivers. Okay, that's the active head there. As Swilling Grog would say that I say, now Hef says. Um, so this is like a headmaster glass. I've got a fair bit of, can I hold that head pretty well. And being an all malt German beer, and yeah, the head will hang around. It's pretty white actually. The color beer is uh, pretty much all a golden straw straw appearance it looks absolutely uh, magical in the glass and that's to say the least um yeah, it looks outstanding what do you expect from Juan Stefano the aroma yeah to me it's always get that breadiness uh the hops uh the hop presence are you using the European I'm pretty sure they use Hallertown for this beer you really get that product kind of pep pepper to it, a bit of that, and a uh, bit, bit of herbal. Grass is another description of, you might hear. Anyway, yeah, it smells good. And uh, first beer, it's nearly nine o'clock at night. Kids are in bed, and well, kids are in bed, and I'm having a beer. So, uh, cheers is all out there, and uh, let's get into it. Oh, it's magical. Absolutely magical. Beautiful. Bready malts with a hot bitterness at the back end that lets you know that you're drinking beer. It, it follows the, the, the nose and the flavour. To me, I get that kind of, a lot of German beers, a little like a, a bit of pepper there in the back end. Some people may describe it as cracker as well, cracker flavor to me. It's kind of breadiness. So that's my best description for it. And finish is pretty dry and pretty delicious. Like I said, it's a good ABV, 5.1%. It's a great ABV. Being a Pilsner, it has that bit of pit, like I said, it's got that bitterness at the back end. Uh, a, lot, a lot of other German beers, different styles. The regular lagers, the Hellas. Um, they're normally, they don't have that bitterness. Like a pills. A good one, a good everyday drink one is Bitburger. You used to be able to buy Bitburger, Dan Murphy's, a long time ago. And they were pretty affordable price. You used to be able to Grab a car, forty bucks, forty-two dollars of Bitburger pills. It was a really nice beer, not as good as this, but it was pretty good for the price. Yeah, talking about price for this beer, I paid about uh, what is it, seven, eight dollars the bottle, five hundred ml bottle. I'm happy to pay that for spoil myself about one hands to find a pills. <laughs> now, sessionability is astronomically high. Extremely high, climbing Mount Everest high. Um, the, the problem is probably the price point. That's anything's going to stop you doing a session. Um, it's a little bit more pricey, but you really, you probably, you know, you probably have one or two of these at Tailgate with another beer. I'll give an example that German uh, handhanger beer that you can buy from uh, Liquorland. This one. I have to send it to Hef, Hef, who won, the, uh, who won the beer glass, that one there. It'd be good to tailgate with that beer. That's pretty good. And you can say, get a carton that for like, was it $45? Carton of 
carton cans for 55. That's a good tailgate beer if you want to tailgate. Um, there's heaps, a lot of beers, tailgate beers, but anyway, just an idea. Back to this beer. It's a great beer. I can't believe it's taken me this long to uh, put on the channel. Jeez, that's a it's extremely well made so right uh to answer to find a pills will not let you down i'm going to say this is an outstanding german pilsner i recommend it spoil yourself why not all their beers most of their beers are pretty decent i love the dunkel love that for years it's one i normally get in, in the uh, in the winter Mind you, I do a lot more brewing these days. I try and, I try and make dunkles. So yeah, get out and try it, everyone, before it disappears in the shelves of Dan Murphy's, because I don't know what's going on there, but their range is absolute shite. It's terrible, we should have more imports. It, it, yeah, how hard it is to get a real German pills or lager. Most of the time you've got a better chance going to hell you can get them the way it's going these days. They just want to brew under license in Australia, and it's not the same beer, I'm telling you. You all know that. Bex, they murdered Bex. There's so many beers that have been destroyed by brewing here in Australia. It's not the same. Anyway, enough of that. Till next time, guys, all take care. Try Wayne Stefano Pills, and I'll see you in the next Jez Beer Reviews. Bye.